Hello everyone and thanks for watching Edupedia World videos. In this video, we'll discuss how to create differential equations given a particular family of curves. So let's say we have an equation of the form of dy by dx is equal to 3x squared. The solution of this is something we already know. Integral of dy is equal to integral of 3x squared dx which basically gives me y is equal to x cubed plus c. Now if we were to plot the solution to this differential equation on the graph, we would get a number of curves based on different values of c. If c is 0, we would get y is equal to x cubed, which would tend to look something like this. If c is equal to 10, this whole curve would be raised by 10. So let's say this is 10, then the curve would look something like this. So for each value of c, we get a different curve and this sort of a function is known as a family of curves. A family of curves is generally an equation between y and x with an one or more unknown parameters or arbitrary parameters, in this case c. As we change the value of c, we get different relations between y and x, which means we get a different curve if we try to plot it. Hence the name family of curves. So a value of, uh, for c, a value of 2 will give us a different curve. From that we get if it is a value of 1 or a value of 3 and so on. So from this differential equation, we were able to get this family of curves. Now what we'll try to do is we'll try to go in the opposite direction. Given a family of curves, we will try to get a differential equation which is satisfied by every member of this family. So if you, let's say, have y is equal to x cubed plus c as a family of curves, you would like a differential equation which is obeyed by every member of this family, which basically means a differential equation between y and x which does not contain c. Because that differential equation should be satisfied whether c is 0, 1, 2, 10, 100 or 1000. So that differential equation itself should not contain c. So essentially what we need to do is we need to eliminate c from this equation. And the, so this is quite a straightforward case. You just differentiate this. You get dy by dx is equal to 3x squared. And for some reason magically c has disappeared. So this family of curves gives me this differential equation. But most often it's not this easy. We have to do a little bit of manipulation to remove this constant of integration. So now we'll study that in a little bit more detail. Another thing I want to point out, we saw this in a previous video, the number of arbitrary constants depends on the order of the differential equation. This is a first order linear ODE. And since this is a first order ODE, it will have a solution which has only one arbitrary constant. And different values of this arbitrary constant give you different curves. But if we had a differential equation which was a second order, such as one we saw previously, uh, d2y by dx squared plus k squared y is equal to 0. The general solution of this, we've discussed general and particular solution before as well, would be y is equal to a sine kx plus b cos kx. Now once again, this is a family of curves for each value of a and b. So now we had a second order equation, a second order linear homogeneous ODE. So we have a second order equation, hence we have two arbitrary constants, which means now our goal will be given y is equal to a sine kx plus b cos kx, where we will be given that a and b are arbitrary constants and k has a specific value. We will need to determine a differential equation, which is obeyed by every member in this family of curves, and we'll figure out that in a few minutes. Ultimately, our goal will be to get this equation. So let's start with one or two simple cases and we'll discuss the general rule. So let's say our family of curves is a very simple one. x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. We already know what this is from maths 11th class. This is a circle whose center is at the origin and which has a radius of r. So let's say we have, this is our axis. If r is equal to 1, this would be the circle. If r is equal to 2, this would be the circle, and so on. 
we would have many different circles. Our goal is to get a differential equation which is obeyed by every member of this circle, every member of this family, which means we want a differential equation that is obeyed by every circle which has a center at the origin, no matter what the radius is. So we need a differential equation in which R is eliminated. So the first step generally is to differentiate this equation outright. If that doesn't eliminate R, then we need to do a few further steps. But first we'll just try to differentiate. And we'll differentiate the whole equation with respect to X. So what we'll get is we'll need to use the chain rule. The LHS will be 2X, that is the derivative of X square with respect to X, plus the derivative of Y square with respect to X. That will be the derivative of y square with respect to y, which is 2y, multiplied by the derivative of y with respect to x, dy by dx. What is this equal to? The derivative of r square with respect to x, but r square is a constant, right? So the derivative will be 0, which gives me uh, x dx plus y dy is equal to 0, or another way to write it would be dy by dx is equal to minus x by y. So this is the differential equation which is obeyed by every member of this family of curves. In this case we were lucky r got eliminated. What would have happened if r square had not been eliminated here? Well that would have been simple enough. We have two equations involving x, y and r. The first is this family of curves. The second will be this equation which also involves the derivative. From these two equations we could actually eliminate r. Whatever the value of r is from this one root of x squared plus y squared, if there was r anywhere in the second equation, we could have put it there. Right. So our goal will be to eliminate this arbitrary constant of integration. Now if we go in the opposite direction, let's say we have dy by dx is equal to minus x by y, how do we solve it? Well, we cross multiply and get this, and then we integrate both sides. The integral of x dx will be x squared by 2, the integral of y dx will be y squared by 2, and then you obviously have plus c is equal to 0. And if you change t c to something else, what you basically get is x squared plus y squared is equal to another constant, let's say r squared. And if the circle has to make sense, uh, r squared has to be positive, and all that will be taken care of. So let's take another simple case. Now we'll take the case of a straight line. A straight line can be given as y is equal to mx plus c. Now this is an equation which has two arbitrary constants, m and c. So we will need to eliminate both of them. So the first line of approach will be to differentiate both sides with respect to x. We get dy by dx is equal to m. But right now m is not eliminated. We have an equation which still has m. We could write m in terms of the other things but then we would get c. So that wouldn't help either because we need to eliminate both m and c. Now this case is different from the first case because previously we had only one arbitrary constant, r. Now we have two arbitrary constants. And when you have two arbitrary constants, you know that it's going to be a second order differential equation. So we'll differentiate it further, d2y by dx squared. And it's fortunate for us that m disappears also and we get 0. So if the family of curves is y is equal to mx plus c, then the differential equation obeyed by every member in this family is d2y by dx square is equal to 0. You can obviously immediately go the other way. Given d2y by dx square is 0, you obviously get uh, y, uh, sorry, dy by dx is equal to just m, and from that you get y is equal to mx plus c. So these were specifics. Now let's look at a general form. So we'll do it uh, for two cases, but it can be extended for more complicated cases quite easily. First we'll do a family of curves having only one parameter. The arbitrary constant is referred to as the parameter. For example, when we did x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared, r was the parameter that was varied. So if you have one parameter, you will have some function of the form of x, y and a is equal to 0, where a can be the parameter. Here that would be x squared plus y squared minus r squared is equal to 0, right? If you have only one parameter, you only need a first order differential equation. If you have two parameters, you'll need a second order differential equation and so on. So for this first order differential equation, what you can do is differentiate this and then you'll get a relation 
let's say g which will involve x y the derivative of y dy by dx and you may or may not have a as well this is equal to zero so this is the first equation which you were given you can differentiate every side with respect to x the only terms you'll get will be x y dy by dx and you may or may not get this constant if you don't get this constant then this is the differential equation if you do get this constant then obviously you have two equations in which you can eliminate a and you will get your final answer right so you have two equations one of them having x y and a the other one having x y dy by dx and a you can just eliminate a from these two equations and you might get a function h involving x y and dy by dx and this will be the differential equation now you could have a second case you could have two parameters actually you could have 20 parameters also and the extension would be easy enough you need to do the same thing in telling you for two parameters but for 20 so in this case let's say you have a function f of x y and two parameters a and b is equal to for example y is equal to mx plus c would give me y minus mx minus c is equal to 0 which is a function of x y m and c since there are two parameters, we know we would need to get a second order differential equation because that's what gives me two arbitrary concepts of integration. So we differentiate it once. Let's say we get g of x, y. We still have a and b, but we will also have another term, dy by dx. And we differentiate it once more. We get an equation, let's say h, which will involve x, y, a, b, and also dy by dx and also d2y by dx squared and now you have to do the same thing you did previously just a little bit more mathematically complicated you have three equations from these equations you can eliminate a and b right if you had two equations you can eliminate one variable you have three equations you can eliminate two variables and you'll let's say get a function only having x y dy by dx and d2y by dx squared is equal to zero and that function will have no arbitrary constants and that will be the official differential equation now since this does not have a or b whatever the value of a or b is in this function that function will still satisfy this differential equation because this does not have a and b hence every member of this family of curves will satisfy this differential equation now let's do two examples one for one parameter and one for the second one for two parameters to see how we actually use these. Now we might be given the equation for the family of curves or we might be just given a word problem. Here I'll do a word problem. We want the differential equation satisfied by every member in the family of curves which would be the family of circles touching the x-axis at the origin. So in one of our examples x squared plus y squared equals r squared we did a family of circles centered at the origin now we want a family of circles touching the x-axis at the origin. So that means every circle will be of this form, either like this, or like this, or a bigger circle like this. So we know that the circle will have a center that lies on the y-axis, right? So the center, let's say, is 0, comma a. And if the center is 0, comma a, let's take this circle, then this would be a which is also the radius because it is touching the x-axis. So the radius will also be equal to a. So the equation will be x squared plus y minus a whole squared is equal to a squared. So we are given a family of curves in which there is only one parameter a. And that parameter a determines the function. Right? Determines the curve rather. Whatever the value, if a is 2, then we'll have a circle whose center is 0, comma 2 and radius 2. If a is 10, we'll have a circle whose center is 0, comma 10 and radius 10 and so on. Right, so we have one parameter. This little x squared plus y squared, y is equal to a squared, that cancels, so we get is equal to 0. Now we know what to do. For a one parameter family of curves, we just need to differentiate it once. What we'll get is uh, 2x plus 2y dy by dx minus 2a dy by dx is equal to 0. Right? And if you were to simplify it a little bit further, we could write it as uh, x plus 
y minus a times dy by dx is equal to now we can really say this is a differential equation because it still contains a and one of our goals is to eliminate a and we can do that because we have these two equations both of them having x y one of them dy by dx and also a so from the first equation i'll just rub a little bit of this we can actually get a in terms of x and y and from that we'll be able to answer so from this first equation we can get x squared plus y squared is equal to 2ay or rather x squared plus y squared by 2y to a right which gives me the second equation as x plus y minus a y minus x squared plus y squared by dy dx is equal to 0 so this is 2y squared plus x minus y squared or y squared minus x squared so I'll just write that y x squared by and what it tells me is by simplifying a little bit further, I'll write it at ds, the minus x squared. So we get y by x squared minus y squared. And this is a French This differential equation will be satisfied by every one of these curves because it does not contain a. So we see what we did. We first wrote down the equation which was this. We differentiated this. And if the differentiated equation does not have but if we then we two equations to eliminate a we subtract from one to the other and we get a relation between x y and dy by dx let's do one more a slightly more complicated example involving a family of curves of two parameters let's do an ellipse so an ellipse has the equation x squared by a squared plus y squared by b squared is equal to 1 so since there are two parameters, we would need to do two, differenti two differentiations. The first tells me 2x by a squared plus 2y by b squared dy by dx is equal to 0. And the other will tell me 2 by a squared plus 2 by b squared into dy by dx whole squared plus 2y by b squared into d2y by dx squared is equal to 0. So I can cancel 2 everywhere and what I'll get is dy by dx whole squared plus y d2y by dx squared. So we have 1 by a square here so this becomes minus 1 by a square is equal to minus b squared by a squared. And we can just write minus b squared by a squared from here. So this tells me, so we can write the equal to here and a minus here, which gives me minus b squared by a squared is equal to a 2 cancel. So y by x dy by dx. So this is equal to y by x dy by dx. And from this I get the equation uh, y by x dy by dx minus dy by dx whole squared plus y uh, minus y d to y by dx squared is equal to 0 which would be the differential equation we are trying to find out right so we were fortunate again that we were able to eliminate b square by a square directly otherwise we would have had to take both these equations get b in terms of a and x and y from one put it in the other, get A and put it in the third one. So this would be the final answer. In the next video, we'll actually start to solve some basic standard types of differential equations.